All right. No, wait. Come sorry. On. Bring the GoPro. Bring the GoPro. Okay, Let's figure this out. I've been working with elephants for three years now, and I can recognize Jeda from over 100 meters away. Both ears have V-shaped marks, and she has ear notches. And she has very good tusks. Even if you look at the tusks, they're so beautiful. She was in the dam alone without any of her calves, and she had this dripping wet side from the shoulder and I realized that she was injured, so I called in the veterinary and we realized that actually she had three bullets on her side. Elephants live in families and a family is led by a matriarch. All the big matriarchs have been eliminated by poaching simply because they have these thick tasks. And you know, the thicker the task, the valuable it is. The little elephant that takes over as the matriarch, she's really not experienced on how to protect the family. This leaves the family vulnerable to predators like lions. This is our mega herbivore exclusion plot. We'll compare the ecological dynamics out here in what we call the control plot with uh, what's happening in here, where elephants are excluded. Elephants are kind of this keystone node in the interaction web, and if you remove them, then you're really changing the entire fabric of the web. The savanna would close in a lot. You'd have a lot lower visibility, you'd have a lot more trees and a lot less grass. This acacia mellifera is really nasty. It has these short, recurved thorns that catch onto you like, like a fish hook. There are stories of sheep actually getting caught in this plant and dying because they can't free themselves and they overheat and dehydrate. Historically, ranchers and other landowners have seen elephants as a threat because they raid crops and they can threaten humans. But you know, in various ways, elephants may be doing things that actually benefit landowners. This is the seedling of the Sodom apple. And this is an invasive plant that is toxic to humans and toxic to cattle but elephants love it, they eat it up. If you're raising cattle and other livestock for a living, you don't want your pasture covered in nasty plants like this. You want all this nice green grass. Impala is a safe haven for elephants because security here is much better as preferred to other places. Poaching rates are very high in surrounding areas, so when elephants come into Mpala, we measure their stress levels by looking at their reaction index. The reaction index, are, we cut them into four. We have one for the totally calm when approached by the vehicle to 20 meters. Then number two is initially skittish to the vehicle approach. Number three is frightened and avoiding vehicle. And then number four is terrified and running. So you see, like, if you have elephants, and most of the time they are in reaction index three and four, that tells you there's a problem. We're trying to develop a catalog, both online and on our database. We also collaborate with the people in the community. When there's a dead elephant, they make a call to us and tell us that there's a carcass here, and we rush there and see. We receive elephants that are coming from different places and we treat them. We treated Jada. She's okay now. She's back with the family, raising her young ones, raising her daughters, raising her granddaughter at the moment. I named the granddaughter Katie.
Poaching is what we are really trying to fight at the moment. Education, you know, takes a while. So it's something that maybe it will happen in the generation to come. If you educate this generation so that they pass it over to the next generation and that helps protect elephants in the future.